fractions are just pizza? Hi, I'm Glenn. Grab a fidget. Let's take a look. Here's the new rule. When you think of fractions, think of pizza. I love pizza. Pizza's simple. There's only two things I need to know about pizza. Then how big is each slice and how many are on my plate? There's only two things I need to know about fractions too. The numerator and the denominator. The denominator is the one on the bottom. That's the one that shows us how many slices were in the entire pizza when we first got it. Right? How many slices was it cut into? So if your pizza had 12 slices initially, put a 12 for the denominator. The denominator tells us how big each slice will be, but it does it in kind of a confusing way. A large number for the denominator means that it was cut a lot of times, and so each slice then will be smaller. A small number for the denominator means that the pizza has only been cut a few times, and each slice then will be larger. So a large denominator means a smaller slice. Smaller denominator, larger slice. It's exactly backwards from the way we, it feels like it should be. The numerator is on top, and that one just says how many slices are we talking about? Fractions are literally just leftover pizza. More generally, they let us relate a part of something to the whole thing. So we could have a fraction for the amount of pizza left as it relates to the amount of pizza we started with. Pizza has 12 slices, seven remain, seven twelfths of a pizza. We could also use a fraction to talk about the amount of pizza taken away. If the pizza started with 12 slices, five slices were taken away, five twelfths of a pizza was taken away. The big thing I want you to take away here is that fractions are nothing to be afraid of. It's just pizza. I'm really glad you're here.